half a million members in this community. What's up community YouTube? I'm Carmen, the community coach, and I help businesses build and improve engagement in their own communities. Today, I'm gonna look through some of the top NFT collectible communities, share how they're managing their own communities and compare them with each other. You may have thought NFTs were just about collecting art, but it's actually so much more than that. There are NFT collectible communities popping up like crazy right now, where people can collect club tokens that double as their membership to exclusive clubs with member exclusive perks. I believe this is the new frontier for community clubs. Today, I'm gonna to look at the top 10 NFT communities according to DAP Radar, one of the ranking websites and compare them with each other. In fact, I'm gonna give my own community coach score to each of them based on the following criteria. The experience for new members, do they feel overwhelmed or are they provided with a great starting experience? What is the access to resources like? Is it easy to find information? How are the channels organized and how many channels are there? Engagement levels. My observation on whether members are reacting to announcements and other posts. I'm also gonna look at the downsides to the community that gives members a negative experience. And this will obviously detract points from my score. So let's dive straight into it and look at the first NFT community, CryptoPunks. CryptoPunks are 10,000 unique collectible characters with proof of ownership stored on the Ethereum blockchain. They were originally created in 2017, so this is actually one of the oldest, it's actually the oldest NFT collection. Let's take a look at the Discord. You can see that it's actually pretty simple in terms of the channels. You only have eight channels here. Number of members, I believe there's over 17,000, although I could be wrong, it could be over 10,000. I didn't take a screenshot off the members list when I joined. New members would go to the overview and projects channel. That is where they would find the information. I'd say the tone is informative, but it definitely lacks personality or brand given its punk image. I do love seeing punk mohawk here <laughs> in the channel. But yes, it's got some information. It's got the homepage, Twitter bot that announces all sales, some press coverage, videos and podcasts, and the FAQ. Now the FAQ I think is really very helpful for all new members of NFT communities. I'm gonna hit up the FAQ to understand more about the project, more about how the community works and how they can buy and sell themselves. Here you can see the FAQs and actually they have several projects under Lava Labs. So CryptoPunks is just one of their projects now, but I'm just gonna focus on the CryptoPunks. My overall observation, no emojis used, lacks personality or brand given the punk image. You can see that with the projects, again, for Discord, there's actually very, very little engagement here. Usually you see a lot of people responding with emojis and excitement. And I see this more as, I guess because it's the oldest community and these CryptoPunks are trading for well over 50,000 US dollars each. I feel like this is very much all about the business. What I think is really interesting is the community members are talking about other projects in their channel. And I mentioned in one of my previous videos, the B2B communities, and one of the advantages of starting a community is that you can get competitive insight or competitors insight. So you can see that they're talking about another NFT here that's not a CryptoPunk. You can get insights if you are the community manager into what people are saying about the different NFT projects. The general channel is to me noise and I'm not entirely sure why a general channel exists. It just seems like if you're gonna talk about CryptoPunks, you would go to the CryptoPunks. If you're gonna talk about other projects, you'd go to those channels. To me, this is just noise and you can tell from the lack of engagement that it just does seem like noise to me. I did notice in this general channel, there were questions being asked from community members around how do they store their crypto punks? What's the safest way? What's the best offline wallet? And we're talking about these hugely valued crypto punks. So I can see why this information is incredibly valuable to a member. And I don't really see anywhere where the moderators have collated that information and really helped to provide more value to their community. That is one thing that I think is a negative is I don't see as much around the longer term mission around these punks. So that's something that's missing to me. I don't see any categorization of conversations or anywhere that's really, you know, like a knowledge base. I don't see a knowledge base here. I don't see any 
anywhere for members to match as well. So if I am a verified punk owner, yes, I can see that I'm assigned a title, but I don't see anywhere around connecting people with each other. So I think there could be a lot of work done to improve the community experience. And overall, I'm going to give this a four out of 10. Next, we have Axie Infinity. Axie Infinity is a Pokemon inspired universe where anyone can earn tokens through skilled gameplay and contributions to the ecosystem. Players can battle, collect, raise and build a land based kingdom for their pets. Now the community platform is Discord. I just want to say first up, their website is amazing. <laughs> it is so cool. Um, now let's join their Discord. When I joined their Discord, you guys, I almost fell off my chair. They have half a million members in their Discord. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so let's take a look at the Discord now. First up, there are a lot of channels, a lot. Look at this, oh my God. Now I know that we have half a million members in here and obviously that means that there's going to be a need for more channels, but straight up the bat, I just wanna say that there are many, 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 many channels and as a new person, a new member joining this community, it, it does feel pretty overwhelming. You have 10 channels just in the official section alone. Look at this. So, I mean, I appreciate that they have organized the official section at the top here. That's great. I have a feeling that a lot of these could potentially be consolidated. Something that I do really love though, is that they have international channels. So they have channels for languages. And I know that there are a lot of community managers that do ask me, how do I, how do I deal with a global community with so many different languages? Well, it could be that you're just starting a channel for them so that they can actually chat and hang out. And I think that's that's okay. That's a, that's a good way to start if you're dealing with global communities. And it seems to work here. Look, all these channels are being used. All right, so there's over 40 channels in total, but let's more importantly look at, if you're a new member, what is that experience like? A really huge positive to me is that before I could even start talking on this server, I had to complete a few more steps before I could actually start typing in this community and get involved. And I think that's a really, really great way to ensure that people understand your house rules. So once I had been accepted into the server, I had a bot that welcomed me. And again, this is a really positive experience. You know, obviously I would prefer a human welcomes me, but we, you know, we're talking about a half a million members that have joined this community. So I think a bot here is you know, it's a really great way to welcome new members. And the bot had shared the white paper and FAQ, so it had already shared with me a welcome message, but on top of that, here's how you can get started and here's a knowledge base that you can go and check out. And so that's a really, really positive win. In the white paper, they share their vision. It's really, really well done that they've shared with me as a new member, the history of the community, where many of the members actually came over from CryptoKitties, which is another older NFT collection community. And I think that's just really positive. They've shared a little bit of the history, a little bit of the, the vision, which is super important for new members. All right, my overall observation, there's 106 special emojis just for this community. So I think the branding is on point. It's obviously a gaming community and it's a fun community. And I feel that straight away in their messaging check out the engagement <laughs> now i know that we have a half a million people here in this discord server so of course you know you're, you're going to expect that these numbers are high it's really really great to see the involvement of community members here and supporting key announcements if you really drill down into engagement levels if you've got a half a million people here and i've done the math in terms of looking at some of these figures you've got you're looking at about three to five percent engagement per post. More importantly, it's how you're managing the communication with your community members. I see very transparent communication here from the admins. When something has gone wrong, the Axie Infinity team address the issue straight away. They clearly state the problem, what they're doing to solve it and managing expectations for the future. Oh, another positive is that they have a support channel to enable community members to pass some feedback on bugs. I like that. I like feedback suggestions as well. Now, in terms of cons, I would say there's just way too many channels. <laughs> I also got invited to join other Axie Infinity servers as soon as I joined without any context. So that was a little bit confusing to me. 
and I just think there's just way too much going on in the Discord that it almost feels hard to breathe as a new person, as a newbie, as a little new member. And maybe that's fine if you're younger and you're really, really excited about the community. So I'm, I'm really not going to say, you know, this is a huge, huge negative. But I do think that there's potentially the ability to clean this up a little bit if you're a community manager. I do think what's impressive is that every single one of these community channels seems to be used. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's really impressive. There's a ton of mods here, which you would need if you have half a million people in your community. But, you know, they've clearly managed it very well. You can see that there's different nationalities to deal with the different channels and different languages. It's great to see that you have content creators as well. It's a really, really well organized community that clearly has been created in a sustainable manner. Overall, I think very positive experience, generally speaking, because, you know, we've got a huge community here and there's a lot of engagement. So clearly they're doing a good job as a community team to be able to support this level of engagement. So I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Artblox is the next one. It's a first of its kind platform focused on genuinely programmable, on-demand generative content that is stored immutably on the Ethereum blockchain. What does that mean? It means that you pick a style that you like, you pay for the work, and a randomly generated version of the content is created by an algorithm and sent to your Ethereum account. The pieces could be a static image, it could be a 3D model or an interactive experience. Most importantly, they have a ton of people in their community, so let's go and take a look at them. Okay, so here we are in the Discord. It has almost 10,000 members, and I just want to say the branding straight up is fun and on point for the type of community that we're looking at, which is obviously a community that loves art and celebrates art. In terms of the number of channels, we have about 70 here. Now let's look at the new member experience. So for new members, you must be verified before joining, which is great. There's no channel specifically for getting started, but they do have a rules info channel. First up, the channel is super helpful. They have a community wiki. <laughs> I love it. This is what I'm talking about when we're talking about knowledge bases for communities. You can see that they have all the useful links here and across different topics too. Like I love how they have one on sustainability, for instance. If you want to subscribe to their newsletter, they have the link here. They're making it really, really easy for community members to get as involved as possible with the community. And you can see that they've mentioned their artists here as well. There are channels just for the artists, but here you can see the breakdown as to, okay, which artist is responsible for which project and that's helpful. Overall, the brand is fun. You can see that with the emojis that you're allowed to use, the customized emojis, this is the swiggle emoji, which is one of the artist's projects. And what I really love is the team, the community team are fully transparent on mistakes or miscommunication between creators. Remember this whole NFT business is still relatively new and people are still working it out as they go along. User-generated content happened to the point that the Artblocks team took notice and hired one of their top content creators full-time. That's incredible. That's what it should be about. The community team are taking notice of the conversations that are happening in their community and they're taking really, really positive actions to further the community vibe. And there's a real collaboration that happens in the community. There's definitely enough moderators and there's a community leader, which I love to see here. They're creating a sustainable community with a framework of managing the community. There's a lot of great resources that we've seen in the announcements channels. Now, here's something that I really, really loved. You can apply to be an artist through the server. Artist applications are now open. This is a really great indication of them caring about the community, of them wanting to get the community involved, of giving back to the community. And user feedback is also available in the channel. So you have this channel here just for user feedback and you can see that it's engaged. To me, this is a really good indication that people are engaged in the community if they're willing to share feedback, they're willing to take their time to give back to this project. Let's talk about the cons. The cons are there are so many channels. We have over 70 here. And you can see that some of these channels are not being used. So I think it could just be better organized. A channel for each featured artist seems like too much. Only super fans for each artist would join these channels. And there's not a great way to explore and find new art or be inspired. Overall, I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of 10. 
Let's move on to the Bored Ape Yacht Club. This collection has a lot of hype. It is 10,000 Bored Ape NFTs, which are unique digital collectibles living on the Ethereum blockchain. But there's another aspect to this Bored Ape NFT that I think is really interesting, especially if you're in the community industry. And that is that the Bored Ape doubles as your Yacht Club membership card, which grants access to members only benefits, such as the bathroom, um, that's clearly a insider <laughs> place to go and hang. There's also member exclusive merch drops, member exclusive treasure hunts, mutual breeding, sorry, mutant breeding, and since launching much more. Every ape will be given a metaverse voxel version of their ape complements of our partnership with Sandbox. That just basically means that they've got a partnership with the metaverse and you're, if you own an ape, you're gonna get a lot of perks in future. The team are also working on new ways to reward membership every single day. But let's take a look at the Discord and show you around. The number of members that they have are 13,400. And looking straight at this, the number of channels is more manageable. You have less than 30. So if you're a new member, you do have a welcome channel, um, which is pretty generic. And I guess I'm still looking for a place to go. If I'm a new member, I guess I would choose the rules first. And I do appreciate that there is a lot of branding in this community. So they do have um, their club offices, their club mods. They all have really fun names. Um, so that seems pretty fun. I love the simplicity of their rules. It's, you know, eight rules and then they've added a few others over time, but it's simple. The FAQ is probably the second place that a new member would start and it's got a lot of useful information and I think this is really what other NFT communities should take a look at to see what they've done and how they are addressing common questions within the community. But for instance, what is the bathroom? That was a question that I had when I joined because that was apparently one of the perks and here they've got an explanation for what the bathroom is. It's great. They also have a roadmap and they tell you where to find the roadmap. So they give you the vision for this community. I love the fact that they have their own radio. So again, the branding's like bang on point. And yeah, I, I think licensing rights is also a really, really important point that I know that a lot of NFT communities, I have to dig for that information. Whereas here they've put it right in the FAQ. So I appreciate that. Uh, along with all the trading information around how to trade the ape, how to purchase one, and how can I avoid getting scammed, which is so important because this is an industry where unfortunately there are a lot of scammers. All right, so the branding is definitely on point with this general channel as well. You have a banana in front of the channel, which I just appreciate these little touches. It does make a difference. The club notice announcements are really very useful. Uh, it's clearly laid out. There's one question I have actually around the roadmap updates and announcements. I actually wonder whether you need two separate channels. Perhaps it's just fine to combine into one and that way you can reduce your channel list. That's just a personal preference. And I think when it comes to number of communities, it's better to have fewer channels than more just to make sure that people see the information that's important. I love their structure of their club. In the right hand side here, you can see that they have club officers, club mods. They also have a club bouncer, club drunk, club bartender. It's just, there's a lot of personality here. And <laughs> I love how the club drunk also has a toilet emoji. I guess they belong in the bathroom. Actually enjoy being a part of this discord. Now the cons are the general channel. If I go to the general channel, I know I did say that I love the banana, but the general channel is actually just like a meme or gift channel. And there's not that much engagement here. I'm not sure whether you even need to have this exist. It could be under something more cool than general if it's going to be about memes and just general chit chat. I just feel like with their branding being so on point, general just seems a bit meh. Some channels, it's actually unclear what that means, like color war. I have no idea what color war means. And as a new member, I'm confused. I just don't know what this is. Like I just see different colors and that's kind of cool, but is it just like some kind of insider community thing? How do I find out more information about the color wall? That's, it seems fun. I just, I'm confused. So I'm gonna take a few points off that one. 
It would also be good to know what verified ape holders get versus those who are just in the public discord. I know they have that on their website and you can look into that in more detail, but that's just personally what I would like to know. If I do become a verified ape holder, what do I, what do I get additionally in this discord that maybe I'm not seeing because it's a private channel? Just give me a sense of FOMO. Um, generally speaking, this is a super strong community. I have really, really, really high regards for this community and I'm going to score it. I'm going to score it a pretty high score, a seven out of 10. All right. Now we have Gary V. I am such a big fan of Gary V. He has helped me so much over the years. So, um, he doesn't know me, but I have seen him at conferences and I just appreciate his honesty. I am super excited that he started his own NFT collection. He sees a lot of value. He sees a potential in NFTs. So it's super cool that he's jumped into the game himself and created his own NFT project. Now the NFT project is called V Friends. And the main ambition of this project is to create meaningful intellectual property and create an extraordinary community. I love that Gary V. All tokens are a three year admission token to VCon an annual super conference. So if you are running a community where you have a major conference every year, why not create a token that gives your members admission rights and maybe it gives you more and maybe you can trade these different tokens depending on the type of access that they get. And what I appreciate about this project with Gary V is he, he has so much empathy. He, he totally understands the audience. He's really good at branding, but he really, really is very good at understanding people. And he's recognized that a lot of people are new to the NFT world. And so he created a really, really comprehensive FAQ to go through what it means to own an NFT. How do you buy an NFT? What is this whole project all about? and why be a part of it. So first up, really appreciate that as a new member, the experience is really comprehensive. It's holding my hand from the beginning. I think out of all the NFT communities that I've reviewed, he has provided the most value before you've even joined the Discord or before you've even considered purchasing a token. The community of vFriends is on Discord. There are 165,000 people <laughs> on Discord. So that is the power of Gary V. He has been building an audience for many years and has many, many faithful fans. So um, it's great to see that he has so many people in the Discord around the vFriends project. Now, when you do join the Discord, you get a welcome message. And I got to say the branding as well is on point. And I appreciate that he's got a step-by-step -step guide, top things to do here. Check out the rules, check out the announcements, check out the FAQs. That's just three channels to get me started. If I'm a new member, I know the beginning journey is well done. And the rules are those generic community rules, but they're pretty straightforward, you know, there's four rules. Once you've read and agreed to the rules, you are then taken to a Carl bot, which is on brand because I believe Carl is one of the NFT tokens. Just to verify myself as a human, that you also complete an introduction in the intro channel. And this is where I feel like Gary Vee understands that with community, it's about connecting members with other members and people can see who else is part of this journey with them. And so I really, really appreciated that we had the intros channel and I could scroll up and look at all the different people that have joined free friends and learn a bit about them from their job or skills to where they were located and their passion. So the number of channels is about 25, which I think is a really good number. It's not too many channels, but it gives you enough that you can feel the community is organized. There is a channel for the intros. So I appreciate that for new members, you have several really great channels there. And honestly, I think it's out of all the NFT communities that I've seen for the new member experience, this is the best. This is by far the best. And all right, let's talk about the other attributes. So in terms of organization of the community, I think it's done really well. Again, this is thanks to those 25 channels that have been well thought out. You have a lot of helpful resources. You have a getting started guide, you have FAQs, it's simple, it's well done. And I think that it's pretty straightforward in terms of the value that you get from owning these tokens. 
Now, I think V Friends VCon channel, it's great to have that, but it would be helpful to understand the different V Friends and their attributes. And I think there could be actually a channel around this and hyping up the different types of V Friends. I just didn't see this when I was looking through their Discord. They have quite a few moderators, I saw at least 10. Now, the con, I like how they've created different distinctions for members based on their animal type. It seems kind of cool, but how are they different? What are these different sub-communities and what do they mean? I also noticed the random Gary V announcement to push his other venture, Wine Text. As you can probably tell from now, I am a huge Gary V fan, but I felt like this was a bit of a sales push in a community of people that are his true super fans. And I'm just not a fan of any kind of salesy approach when it comes to community. 190 members had actually responded to that with the unamused emoji. So I am gonna take points off for that. There also lacked a way for community members to send their feedback or ideas for V friends. There should be ways for community members to bring V friends to life. Maybe Gary V could have a channel where people could, could submit their own versions of V friends or their own art that is inspired by the V friends. I think it would be really cool to see some GIFs made or memes made or um, even videos and you could, there's so many creative people out there and I think they could do a lot with the V Friends concept and just encouraging your community members to get involved. There was an awesome video uploaded in the announcements channel by somebody that had a conversation with Gary V and they were sharing Gary V's vision for the project and I thought that was so awesome but it's something that over time that video is going to get lost in all the other announcements so I'd love to see more content that is constantly updated in the community around the vision. Overall, a really, really solid project, and I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. Cool Cats is the next collection. Here we have another NFT collectible. Cool Cat holders can participate in exclusive events such as NFT claims, raffles, community giveaways, and more. Remember, all cats are cool, but some are cooler than others. One of the differences between these guys and other NFT communities is they have this section on their website called Why Get a Cool Cat? And they talk about how they're giving back 20% of all ether raised to the community through contests, raffles and more because we genuinely want Cool Cats to be a community driven and centric project. By getting a Cool Cat, you can have a voice in the community and can help guide the direction of the project. Community led business. I'd love to see that. Now let's take a look at the Discord. They have 6,600 members on Discord. As a new member, the experience is there's no prompts for new members, but once you get in the Discord, it's the best channel for getting started. The welcome channel is well organized. There's lots of helpful information. They host town halls regularly on Twitter spaces. I love to see that. In the announcements channel, the team have been super transparent, apologize for mistakes that have happened, and they address concerns by community members. They've shared their purpose with the community openly. The house rules are done well and on point branding wise. They also give three recommended channels if you need help. And I appreciate that as a new member, this is really, really valuable advice. You know, if I'm not sure where to go, pointing people in the right direction is a major plus in my mind. And they also give a community manager contact to DM if you have any problems getting started. And I think this is this is something that I haven't seen a lot in the other communities and I really want to give some like bonus points for that. They have public volunteer cats to help mod. I love that they have an origins channel to see the history. And I think all NFT projects should have this to document their progress over time and really get their community members involved with the future success of this project. It's great that they have a suggestions channel for community members to provide feedback. So overall, I think really, really great job by the community team. The cons, I think the community cat is a bot. I can't really tell. I, I'm assuming so. So it, I think it's just a little confusing who is actually moderating this channel, this community. Is it mostly bots or is it humans? I also think they could brand this even further. The tweets channel could be meow tweets or Tweety Bird or something fun. Like, we need more personality. <laughs> also, they have a social section with meme channels, etc. So why do you need a general channel too? It seems like they could consolidate a couple of the channels, like the fan art and a drawing competition channel seems like a lot. 
Um, plus they have cat flecks and adopted cats. I'm not sure what the difference is there. So I think that's just generally a requirement to go through the channels and make sure that, that any unnecessary or duplicated channels are removed. Overall, I'm going to give these guys a 7 out of 10. Okay, back to the punk vibe with Punk's Comics. This is a comic about punks. Every punk has a story. You can own characters from one of the most groundbreaking projects in the NFT space. That's what the founders say. It's really a comic creating shared ownership by the community and building the punks brand together. Certain members will have VIP perks like a stake in the success of the project, whether that be the comic, the artist's other works or cuts in the merchandise that is sold. From what I can see, the founders very much insist that this will be a community-driven project. They hope to lead the comic down a path that their supporters will enjoy. And it's a goal to integrate more storylines involving other crypto punks, other crypto projects, and any other events that are pertinent to the crypto NFT landscape. So not only will this be community-driven from the punks universe, but also collaborating with other communities in this space. And I think that's really, really cool and interesting to see how this evolves. In terms of the number of members in their Discord, they have 6,000 and they only have eight channels. I guess in terms of my first observation as a new member, I felt low energy in this community. And maybe this is a punk vibe because I noticed this in the crypto punks. <laughs> The FAQs channel mainly just sends people back to the website FAQs. I think it'd be really useful to answer some of the actual frequent questions in the community and share this on the Discord channel. I think the actual concept is solid, but I don't see the execution with collecting thoughts from the community on how the project should progress in future. And for me, this is a real con. We'd like to see more interaction with community to be honest, I'm not entirely sure whether I'm seeing the full Discord because there is a channel to join and I believe that is for people that actually own the punks. And once you do join and they confirm that you are a punk holder, usually more channels do pop up. So I want to keep that in mind. This could be something where I'm just looking at the public version, um, but I do think that this is an opportunity if you're not a punk holder to learn more, I'm just not feeling the excitement here to even encourage me to, to join. So that's something that I would keep in mind. I would love to see more happen here in this community. For that reason, I'm gonna give them a four out of 10. I need to see their vision align more with the community, including their public community here. Next, we have CyberKongs. It's actually one of my favorite projects in terms of the branding because it is on point. Cyberpong... <laughs> CyberKongs are unique and randomly generated avatars for the metaverse. Some appear normal, some look weird, and some are just damn cool. I like the, the brand. So they give you information on their website about how to mint and the roadmap. This is generic standard for NFT projects. But it's just, it's branded really well. It's fun vibes. And I like how you've got these key features. It's really, really simple and easy to understand if you're a new member or somebody that's looking to understand the project. You've got playable avatars in the sandbox universe, full commercial rights on the assets and advanced tokongomics. So again, the play on Kong is throughout. Let's go to the Discord. Be part of the jungle is um, how they brand it. So let's check out the Discord. They have 3000 members on their Discord and 19 channels. I really, really like the way that they've laid their community out. It's very easy to follow. It's very easy when you're a new member to know where to go. Straight up you go to the rules or the new Kongs even. The new Kongs is just that generic welcome channel, but they've branded it at least. So it feels, a little bit more like they have a personal touch with that and then the rules channel is so cool they have um they have this like rules jpeg image but it just instantly sets the vibe and these rules are really 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 simple i love them i love the the little red alert at the top and they've just got one through to ten it's simple it tells you what's allowed what isn't and they still use their own voice. So again, it's using their personality. Their, their community really does have a brand. And they tell you which channels you should go to for specific 
topics. They tell you to read the FAQ. So let's go to the FAQ channel now. And okay, this is officially my favorite FAQ in all the NFT projects, mainly because yes, they've got all this great information on the channel, but they also have these images for new members on the types of avatars, how to breed them, how to spend your banana, how to swap your Kong. And yeah, I think this is, this is so creative. And they've even got a library of Congress, <laughs> which I love. And that was created by one of their community members. And it's just really great to see that it's got community generated content. And you can tell, like, I haven't seen an FAQ section for any other NFT community where you have emoji responses that are this engaged. Uh, clearly, this is a step above the rest. And yeah, all the information is here, but you've got real personality along with it. I like the branding, Welcome to the Jungle. It's all fun. Now with the announcements channel, let's take a look at that. So what I really, really loved about their announcements is that they have created this Council of Kongs which are made up of members of the community. The Council of Kongs will make decisions together with the whole community to lead the Kongs to the promised land. And you see the engagement with this. We, as I mentioned, we only have 3000 members here, but you can see that people are really, really excited to get involved in this project and be given the platform to step up and be more active in this community. I will say generally it's easy to find everything. Everything's organized. You've got the well Kong, <laughs> which I think is like the welcome area. And I just love that. You have cyber Kongs, you've got wild Kongs and the giveaway party. And that's it. It's just, it's simple. I can find everything that I need to find as a member. So I guess the one con that I have is that con or Kong <laughs> is that I don't see a community feedback channel. I would love to be able to see more interactions where the community can actually tell the team their experience so far and what's working and what isn't. And yeah, just providing people with more opportunity to even recommend future potential ideas for the roadmap. But generally speaking, this is a really, really strong community. You can see on the right, we have Alpha Kong, Council of Kongs, Bot Kongs, Mod Kongs, Legendary Kongs, OG Kongs, Booster Kongs. So they've got a real hierarchy in their community. And I think it's just really well done. It's a fun community to, to get involved in. And they've shared their mission, their vision, the branding's on point. So generally speaking, I'm actually gonna give this community an eight out of 10. I think that it's done so well and they've gone above and beyond to really set their NFT community apart from the rest. Next up, we have Lucky Minekis. Lucky Minekis are a collectibles project and it's a brainchild of a fully decentralized team of artists, copywriters, blockchain developers, and NFT enthusiasts. Supporting the decentralization concept, this project is meant to be the first step for their small team in building a truly decentralized autonomous organization. Blah, that's quite a mouthful. But they want thousands of members from around the world to strive together and deliver one of the most entertaining and engaging NFT collectible experiences. So this is really a community led project that they're looking to build. And I think that's really exciting. And that's why I've included it in this list. They have their community based on Telegram and Discord. I'm just going to focus on the Discord, which is how they recommend you participate as a member. So we have four and a half thousand members and 40 channels for new members. Okay. So if you go to the welcome channel, you can see that's just a generic channel. But the great news is they actually have a README channel first, which I guess for a lot of people, this is where you would consider to start. It's nice that they welcome you. They tell you a little bit about Lucky Monekis and the history. And you can read more about the story on their website. They're pretty comprehensive about their story. And the vision is shared, which is awesome. You've got the rules here. It's very simple rules again. They also tell you where to report suspicious behavior and they have a whole bunch of FAQs in the FAQs channel. So they tell you to go there, pretty much all the information that you need to get started. So I'd say overall, having the help channel, the readme channel, they have a request 
help channel. So that's also really helpful for new members. You don't have to feel worried about asking a question because that channel is literally for people that have questions. <laughs> so I think in terms of where to go for what topic, the rules, the vision, it's all shared here in this community. And yeah, I'm really happy that for a new member, I think you should feel pretty comfortable in this community. Now, I mentioned that they had some really cool initiatives for this project on their website. For example, they have this concept called Lucky Bank, where it turns out that some of the Manekis look very similar to well-known men and women that live in the real world. One of such Manekis is the manager of the Luck Bank. Being in charge of this auspicious institution, he collects 5% of all transactions executed by the collectors and deposits them in a safe box. The contents of this safe box will be used by the active collectors towards initiatives that they propose and vote on as a community. So this is a really, really cool and very, very strong community concept. And I think it's such a cool concept, but I don't really see this concept translated in the actual Discord community. So I think it could be done better. For instance, where is the lucky bank in this Discord community? I'd love to learn more about it. What initiatives have been proposed and voted on before, if any? And if there haven't been any yet, then I want to know when the next one will take place. There are some channels that I believe are duplicates or could be consolidated. Challenges, feedback and suggestions could all be put together in one channel. There could be more done on branding the community too. I love that on the website, it seems really, really strong. You have words like auspicious and the history and the branding seems really fun. But as soon as I come onto this Discord community, I feel like it lacks a little bit of oomph and I'd love to feel more of a voice in this community. The engagement doesn't seem that high on this one. There are people in the community with labels like State Police, Guardian, but nowhere in the README channel do I read about these different roles. So I think it'd be really good to understand the different roles in the community. Overall, I'm going to give this community a score of five and a half out of 10. It is quite a new community, so I think there's still a lot of work to be done. Yeah, I see a lot of potential for this one. Next, we have Animetas, which I actually covered in my last YouTube video because I love this project and I'm super excited about it. They just recently dropped. They are 10,000 inclusive and unique avatars designed by an incredibly talented pixel artist. This, this is a really, really exciting project. It's anime inspired 80s, 90s. The roadmap is incredibly aspirational. They have laid it out all on their website. Their biggest dream is to make a comic and a TV series of Animetas. But the reason why I am super excited about this project is the way that they have engaged with their community. It's off the charts. And let's go take a look at their Discord where their community lives and you'll see how high the engagement is. And I'll take a look at why their engagement is so high, what sets them apart why are so many people excited about this project? All right, so now we're in the Discord. So we have around 3,000 members, but remember this is quite a new project still. They just recently dropped on July 31st, their avatar collection. We have about 27 channels, which ordinarily I would say, oh, that's a lot, but they're actually organized really well. All the channels are used, so I, I don't have any problems with this number of channels. Now, if I'm a new member, I would hit up the server rules and FAQ channels first. The server rules channel is really simple. There's a lot of people that have reacted really positively to, to their server rules, which as you've seen in all the previous NFT communities, that's quite rare. But I think it's testament to the fact that they've kept this really simple. People really feel like these rules resonate. Now let's look at the FAQ section. Again, you have a high engagement where people have responded really positively to the FAQs. I must admit that I think there could be more done with the FAQs, but in terms of general information, I'm glad that they have this FAQ channel and I can see that they've really covered rules around gas and they've got a whole channel specially dedicated to gas because there was a whole lot of issues in the past where their members were losing money. And if you don't know what gas is, just think of it as transaction fees. There were people that were getting burnt on really high transaction fees. The moderating team really listened to what was happening in the community and have adapted the channels, adapted the content 
accordingly. And I think that's a sign of a really healthy community. And it's why you're seeing engagement get higher and higher because the members feel like they're being heard. This is actually the highest in terms of engagement out of all the NFT communities that I've seen. I mean, you could say on a actual number basis, of course, there are communities that have more members that would have higher engagement numbers. But from a percentage perspective, this is definitely one of the highest. I believe the reason why their engagement levels are so high is because the developer team, they know how to build hype and they do it really well in the community. So let's have a look at how they've built hype. There's a channel called Sneak Peeks where you can see new characters that the artist is creating in real time and they share it to just really get the community excited and feel like they're getting almost like insider access to what's going on in this community, in this project. And look at, look at how people are engaging with it. They're so excited. Here's one of the artist's choices that was shared. And again, engagement actually doubled on this post. We also have a Good Vibes channel. The Good Vibes channel helps members get through any annoying challenges. And as I mentioned, when you're dealing with NFTs, this is still very much a very new type of community. The projects are new and people are gonna get burnt constantly whilst working things out. So with the gas wars that I had mentioned, i.e. the high transaction fees, members have said that flooding this chat with positivity has actually helped them a lot with getting through the challenges that they faced. So that channel I think has been really beneficial to the community. There's a community playlist created via the animators music channel. So they have music. Again, this is a really creative community. So you have art, you have music, you have ideas flowing. And all of these channels actually strengthen the community. Another great channel is the animators follow animators. So if you own an animator, then you can share your Twitter account in this channel and have other animator owners follow you on Twitter. You could say that, that this is taking the community off Discord, but I believe that this is strengthening relationships between members and in doing so, you're actually enhancing the entire community experience for Animeta owners. So to me, this is a job well done for sure. You can see that the Animeta's fan art is also shared and it shows again, the passion of the community and people really responding to the fan art. So it's just a really great vibe. And I can also see an archive channel where community voting has taken place before. So I know that the community has had a voice in the past and I feel the confidence that in future uh, I can have a role in this project. There's a share your animator channel. And again, this is really about showcasing the pride in this project. The main con that I noticed is the welcome experience and channel could be better. Perhaps they could have the animators police bot send out a friendly message to all new animators members. They could also do with a community resources section too. I just felt like the FAQs didn't answer enough questions and I would really love to see a resource base for this community. But overall this, I mean, the engagement stats speak for themselves. I'm gonna give this community a score of 8.5. And there you have it. NFT communities ranked by me. Of course, I couldn't rank all of them. <laughs> There's so many out there. I do recommend if you're a community manager, Join some of these NFT communities. You're going to learn so much about how they're managed and how they communicate with their members, especially in a space where it's hard to feel safe because there's a lot of people scamming. There's a lot of people getting burned because this is new tech. They don't understand exactly what they're doing. They are dealing with high transaction fees. They're dealing with a hugely competitive market as well. And I think it's really interesting to, to watch how community managers and mods are dealing in this space. There's so much potential. There's a reason why I didn't give any communities a 10. It's because I think, <laughs> number one, I don't know any community that I would rate a 10 out of 10. It's always a work in progress, but there is some incredible work being done. And I just want to congratulate absolutely everybody in this list that I've mentioned. I just want to say that even for myself as an experienced community manager, I learned a lot 
by going through these 10 communities. There's a few others that I am now looking into. The World of Women is an NFT project that I highly recommend checking out. I actually purchased my first NFT myself yesterday and it was one of the women. I really, really appreciate what they're trying to do with this community. It's just too new and it didn't quite make my list for uh, today's video. But yeah, I recommend taking a look at them. Yeah, if you have any questions around NFT communities, please reach out to me. I'm at a community coach on Twitter, or you can just send me a comment below on this YouTube video. Thanks so much for watching.